In this video, you will learn how to choose a laser tube for your machine tool, what power you need and why the size of the working area is important when choosing a laser tube. This is Verma. Let's get started. The choice of a laser tube determines the thickness the machine can cut and the speed at which it cuts and engraves. The question of choosing the power of a laser tube can arise in two cases, either when choosing a new machine or when replacing the tube in a machine you already have. Choosing laser tube power when buying a new machine. When you buy a new machine, you choose the power of the laser tube, i.e. you are essentially choosing the power of the machine. As a rule, machines are equipped with tubes that are already best suited to the specific machine model. However, when buying a machine on request from Verma, the laser tube can be changed to a more or less powerful one, or to a laser tube of a certain brand upon request. Back to the choice. In some cases, the laser tube is specified with two power ratings. For example, 80, 95 watts. In this case, the first number is the rated power and the second is the maximum power. And most of the time, the laser operates at rated power. What to consider when selecting the power of the tube? Answer a few questions first. First, what is your task, cutting or engraving? Second, what kind of material will you work with? Third, how thick is the material you want the laser to cut through? And fourth, what speed do you require? Engraving can be done with less power than cutting. And the more powerful the tube, the faster it can work and the thicker the material it can cut through. But different materials are cut with different efficiency. Let us explain with an example. These are two most popular materials, plywood and acrylic. It takes 10 watts of power to cut 1 mm of plywood. In other words, a 100 watt laser tube is capable of cutting 10 mm of plywood. However, note, tube manufacturers recommend operating at no more than 80% power to avoid accelerated degradation of the gases filling the tube. Therefore, it is best to reduce the cutting power to 80%. That is, a 100 watt laser tube will effectively cut 8 mm thick plywood. Of course, a 100 watt laser tube can also cut 20 mm, but very slowly and with a lot of soot. As for acrylic, each 10 watts of power cuts through a thickness of 1.5 mm. That is, a 100 watt tube will cut 15 mm acrylic. The specifics of the laser system are such that it is worth limiting the material thickness to 20 to 25 mm. Thicker material will not cut well. It is important to remember that the required laser tube power does not only depend on the thickness of the material or the desired working speed. The size of the working area of the machine must be taken into account too. It determines the distance the laser beam travels, the optical path. The longer the optical path, the more the laser beam is scattered, losing its penetrating power. CO2 laser machines are based on the flying optics principle. This means that they have a system of mirrors attached to different parts of the body, including moving parts. This system of mirrors reflects the laser beam and thus guides it from the laser source to the focusing lens and onto the material. The laser beam will inevitably scatter and lose some of its power. And the longer the distance the beam has to travel, the more power is lost. Also, each mirror eats from 2 to 5% of the power as well. Since there are three mirrors, the total loss is 6 to 15 percent. Therefore, machines with a larger working area require a more powerful laser tube. As for machines with a working area of more than 1,600 by 1,000 millimeters, the laser tube is usually installed in the gantry and moves with it. This shortens the optical path of the beam and reduces its scattering. For efficient cutting on machines with working area sizes from 200 by 300 mm to 600 by 400 mm, laser tubes with power from 40 watts to 80 watts are used. On machines with working area of 600 by 900 mm and more, from 80 watts to 180 watts, depending on size of working area and required tasks. If you are not sure which laser tube to choose, write in the comments or contact Verma managers. In the following video, we will talk about installing and replacing the laser tube. Stay tuned to our channel. This is Verma. See you in future videos.